Alright. Um, I have a little story to share with you. <clears throat> it's a personal story. It's a little bit embarrassing. But I'm just going to tell you anyway. I have an uncle of mine who is... Well, how can I put this? He's crazy. And there was this one time where he had to take his medicine. So his family ran up to him. You know, they were giving him his medicine, but he did not want to take his medicine. So they kind of, you know, made him take it against his will. Because remember, he's a great, he's a crazy guy. Now, all of a sudden he gets out of bed and he makes every single person in the house take the same medicine because if he has to take it, then everybody else does. Is this not childish or what? Well, let me be honest with you. I don't have such a crazy uncle. This is the Prophet of Allah, Muhammad. Let's go ahead and take a look at um, <clears throat> Hadith Bukhari, Sahih Bukhari, uh, Book 59, Hadith number 735, narrating Aisha, that pretty little bitch. Um, we poured medicine in one, of the, in one of the sides of the Prophet's mouth during his illness, and he started pointing to us, meaning to say, don't pour medicine in my mouth. We said, he says so because the patient dislikes medicine. When he improved and felt a little better, he said, Didn't I forbid you from pouring medicine in my mouth? <clears throat> we said, We thought it was because of the dislike patients have for medicines. And then he said, Let everybody present in this house be given medicine by pouring it in his mouth while I am watching him. Except for Abbas, as he has not witnessed you doing the same to me. Now, this again was mentioned in al Sahih Bukhari, book 71, hadith 610, book 83, hadith number 25 and 35. Um, now, it doesn't really say what kind of medicine it is, so let's go ahead and take a look and see what did Muhammad also consider as being medicine. Uh, going back also to, to Sahih Bukhari, book 71, hadith number 587, uh, narrating Jabir ibn Abdullah. I heard the Prophet saying, if there's any good in medicine, then it is in cupping, a gulp of honey, or branding with fire. However, I do not like to be branded with fire. Smart guy. This also was mentioned in Book 71, Hadith number 603, and Book 71, Hadith number 605. So, let's go ahead and take a quick, quick, take quick analysis of this guy, Muhammad. First of all, he considers piss, uh, camel piss, to be medicine. He considers wings of flies to be medicine. He considers branding by fire to be medicine. However, he does not like to be branded. It doesn't say anything about him drinking piss either. Um, <clears throat> and also, when he's given real medicine, he throws his fit and he makes everybody in the house drink it. Now, come on. If somebody in modern society is doing that, if your uncle, if your crazy uncle was doing that today, would you have any respect for him? If he starts telling you he's having visions of Allah, of God, and he's giving him words, would you even believe him? No. What kind of person actually gets up and says, Ew, I don't want to take this medicine. Therefore, if you made me take it, then everybody else in this house is going to have to take it. This is what a four-year-old does. Actually, not even four-year-olds do that. They, they have more common sense and understand that this is something they have to do to get better. But never, nevertheless, this is the type of personality that Muhammad had. This is the person that you as Muslims follow. You believe in him as being the messenger of Allah. That Allah would send down somebody as crazy, as, de as delusional, as uh, self-absorbed, as... So Come on, look at this guy. And you're following him. You believe every word he says. I feel sorry for you. For, honestly, with all my heart, I feel sorry for every Muslim out there. That's all I have to say for right now. You have a good night.